Hi guys. Welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this series, we are going to cover the concepts from tree data structure and get in hands on on the topic as we move ahead. So please like the video and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Till now, we have studied binary trees, its traversals and a few problems on it. Today, we will go through the concept of generic trees or an array tree. So let's get started. Binary trees are the ones with at most two children. These are easy to represent using two pointers left and right. Anary trees are the ones with n children. In this example given below, we can see that some nodes do not abide to the rule of at most two children that a binary tree has, but they have more than two children. These are generic or anary trees. We represent a binary tree node with three attributes, a value, the left, and the right tree node. This would not suffice in an anary tree. So how do we represent it? One way is to create a number of pointers as described here. But do you think it is a good idea? As at the end, we would not be using all the pointers for all the nodes. So a lot of memory will be wasted in this approach. Thus this approach cannot be used in real life applications or examples. This approach can be discarded and we now need to think more wisely. So, this is one of the representations of the same tree. Here, at each node, we link children from the same parent from left to right. And we remove the link from parent to all the children except the first child. So the anary tree is now converted to a binary tree format. And this relationship is called first child next sibling relationship where a node is linked with its first child and this child is linked with all its siblings. Here is a representation of the nodes with first child next sibling relationship. Just pause here for a second if you have any confusions and compare it with our example. You will understand it clearly. So here is a tree node class. It has three attributes, the value of a node, the first child tree node and the siblings for this node. Now that we know the basics, let's try to find a few answers to common questions that will make you clear on how to process the nodes. The first question is how to find the sum of nodes in an anary tree. Simple, we need to traverse the tree and add all the node values. The traversals can be level order traversal or a recursive one. Let's try using recursion to solve this. So in the recursive method, we check if root is null. If yes, we return zero. Otherwise. We return the addition of value from root, its recursive call to sum with root.firstchild and root.nextsibling. Now, let's see how we can find the depth for this tree. This tree can be rewritten as the parent array shown here. Here the index represents the node and the value represents its parent. As 0 is the root, its parent is marked as minus 1. For 1, we see parent as 0 and for 2, we see parent as 1. In simple words, we would start from every node and keep going to its parent until we reach minus 1, that is the root. While each hop, we increment the count. This way you can find the depth for every node. To keep track of the maximum depth, we can compare the current node depth and the max depth value and update it accordingly. For this example, starting with node 0, the parent is minus 1, so the depth becomes 0 as this is the root. For node 1, the parent is 0 and as 0 is root, the depth becomes 1. Similarly, for node 2, depth becomes 2 as we need 2 hops to reach node with minus 1 as value. If we keep doing this, the maximum depth will occur here. For node 8, the depth is 4. That's all for anary trees. Let's revisit the key takeaways from anary trees. Anary trees can have n child nodes. They are represented by first child next sibling relationship. The traversals are similar to a binary tree, except left and right becomes first child and next sibling respectively. And the maximum number of nodes at height h can be given by n raised to h. That's it for today. In the next video, we will see the concept for threaded binary tree, also known for stack or queueless traversals. Till then, keep learning, keep practicing.